हेलो माई डियर स्टूडियस एंड स्टूडियस स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सर्जरी माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेश चौधरी आई एम वार वेलकमिंग यू इन माई सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज जिस सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज कंटेंट्स एंटायर सर्जरी विथ एनेसेशिया विथ रेडियोलॉजी विथ ऑर्थोपेडिक सो स्टेट यून विथ अस लेट स्टार्ट आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर नंबर फिफ्टीन that is the cyst and tumors of the spleen in this lecture we are going to learn cyst that is the parasitic cyst of the spleen and non parasitic cyst of the spleen tumors of the spleen hypersplenism splenomegaly non hodgkins lymphoma that is nhl and splenectomy first cyst cyst are unusual in the spleen classified into two groups parasitic and non parasitic cyst first parasitic cyst due to echinococcal echinococcal disease This type accounts for 70% of splenic cyst where hydatid cyst is endemic found in Australia South America and Greece second type of the cyst of spleen is non parasitic cyst often encounter in countries where echinococcal disease is rare this cyst classified into two groups first is primary or true cyst and second is pseudo cyst primary or true cyst have epithelial lining can be of dermoid epidermoid and epithelial varieties and pseudo cyst more common and results from liquefaction of old hematomas areas of infection and inflammation dear students you are watching the image on your screen is the parasitic cyst of the spleen this is the ultrasound image of cyst parasitic cyst of the spleen this is the ct scan image of parasitic cyst of the spleen this is the another image now the clinical features of the cyst due to the merence of mass and compression of adjacent viscera and due to diaphragmatic irritation there is a dull pain in left upper quadrant treatment usually splenectomy for selected non parasitic cyst may be treated by the aspiration in very large cyst intraoperative drainage may facilitate splenectomy this is the non parasitic cyst of the spleen images you are uh, watching on your screen now the tumors of the spleen primary tumors are rare in the spleen Majority of the primary tumors are malignant either sarcoma angiosarcoma or splenic lymphoma metastatic tumors of the spleen are rare in the spleen through spleen is an effective filter and frequently show malignant cells at metastatic deposits are rare it is probably due to splenic immune mechanism only in case of hodgkins disease and non hodgkins lymphoma that metastasis in the spleen is noticed now the another condition of the spleen is hypersplenism Increased splenic function with peripheral cytopenia and a reactive bone marrow. Four criteria have been laid down for diagnosis are anemia, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, and combinations thereof. Second criteria is a compensatory bone marrow hyperplasia. Third criteria is a splenomegaly, and fourth criteria is improvement of following splenectomy. Platelets and granulocytes are most frequently and severely affected. This is classified into two groups: hypersplenism. First is the primary hypersplenism, and second is the secondary hypersplenism. Primary hypersplenism, where an underlying disease cannot be identified to account for the exaggerated splenic function. Second, secondary hypersplenism, an underlying disease is identified. Dear students, you are watching the image of hypersplenism. This is the scan image of the hypersplenism. You can see. in the left side there is a hypersplenomegaly now the splenomegaly enlargement of spleen occurs in a variety of condition which may be medical and surgical blood disorders in which the splenomegaly is found that is the hereditary spherocytosis autoimmune hemolytic anemia idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura thalassemia sickle cell anemia acute leukemia chronic leukemia that is the lymphocytic and myelocytic and splenomegaly due to the infection one is a bacterial typhoid and paratyphoid tuberculosis septicemia and anthrax in all these bacterial infections splenomegaly is found and viral infection infectious mononucleosis and pitagosis is a positive or organism for the splenomegaly and third reason of infection is a protozoal and parasitic that is the malaria cystosomiasis egyptian splenomegaly also called as cystosomiasis kala azar hydatid cyst tropical splenomegaly these are due to the protozoal and parasitic infection of the spleen splenomegaly found now the third reason of splenomegaly is neoplastic that is the tumors of the spleen hodgkins lymphoma non hodgkins lymphoma and reticulum cell sarcoma 
Fourth reason of splenomegaly is circulatory disorders like infarcts, bacterial endocarditis, mitral stenosis, portal hypertension, and splenic vein thrombosis. Cyst of the spleen. And sixth reason of the splenomegaly is miscellaneous diseases. That is the Feltis syndrome, sarcoidosis, Gaucher's disease, porphyria erythropoietica, myeloid metaplasia. Now, non-Hodgkin's lymphomas, NAH, NHL. The constitute a group of primary malignancies of lymphoreticular tissues. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma means the constitute a group of primary malignancies of lymphoreticular tissues. This group is divided into four major histologic types. That is the one is lymphocyte predominant, second is nodular sclerosis, third is mixed cellularity, and fourth is lymphocyte depletion. Yet for prognostic, prognostic and therapeutic purpose, NHL is classified into nodal favorable and diffuse unfavorable varieties. Clinical features in 25% of patients, the onset of NHL occurs in extranodal site. Fever, weight loss, and night sweats are frequently prevent. Treatment, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. Type of treatment is based on the histopathological type of lymphoma and the stage of the disease. Dear student, you are watching the image on your screen, the lymphatic system in the body. This is a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma to improve hematologic depression, to reduce symptomatic splenomegaly to prevent from recurrent splenic infarction. Preoperative splenectomy required red cells and platelet transaction. In about 80% to 90% of patients, significant therapeutic benefits may be achieved by splenectomy. The prognosis is more favorable for the nodular than for the diffuse form of NHL. Now the splenectomy. Indications as described above on previous slides, blood disorders and another reasons like neoplastic, miscellaneous reasons, bacterial, viral and protozoal infections, preoperative management, performed for hematological disorders, blood transfusion but avoids in ITP that is the idiopathic thrombocytopenic disease, platelet packs are not administered preoperatively as these platelets are destroyed by the spleen and hence become ineffective. So in ITP condition, Preoperatively, blood transfusion should not be done. However, platelets should be kept in hand to be used after removal of the spleen. Always remember this. Narrogastric tube to decompress the stomach to facilitate handling of the short gastric veins within the gastrosplenic ligament. This is the image you are seeing. The stages of first step is the decision of the aspect of the spleen. These are the steps of the splenectomy. Second stage dissection of the lateral aspects and retroperitoneal attachments. Third step of splenectomy is the transaction of the splenic hilum. Fourth step of the splenectomy is the dissection of the short gastric vessel. And fifth step is the removing the spleen. This is the another image of splenography. Surgical aspects of subtotal splenectomy performed in patients with the portal hypertension of the, the splenogastric vessels in the arrow. Techniques of operation incision should be made on midline, left subcostal incision for elective splenectomy left paramedian incision should be taken mobilization of the spleen division of gastrosplenic ligament division of the splenic vessels post operative course increased leukocytosis and platelet counts are observed post operative complications are hemorrhage left lower lobectasis associated with pleural effusion gastric dilatation hematemesis due to mucosal damage of the stomach damage of the tail of the pancreas during dissection of the hilar vessels thrombosis that is the venous thrombosis, DVT, deep vein thrombosis, gastric fistula due to compromise in vascular supply, infection frequently isolated from septic splenectomized children are those of diplococcus pneumonia and H. influenzae, other bacteria to cause septicemic in splenectomized children. So it is the practice to give pneumococcal antitoxin and antibiotic cover until the 18 years of age. Polyvalent after the splenectomy. Polyvalent pneumococcal vaccine should be given that is the Pneumonova 0.5 ml preoperatively or postoperatively also. Particularly those undergoing splenectomy, which will be followed by chemotherapy and radiation. Also should receive antimalarial prophylaxis. Students, here is the end of our surgery lecture number 15. That is the cyst and tumors of the spleen. Thank you.